for a successful painting, the most important thing is needed is to compose your scene. It can be from multiple sources or from your direct observation. Once you've decided, the first thing you will need to do make a thumbnail sketch or value study if you can. Once that is done, you will know what needs to be done on your paper. Second step is to draw your scene. Drawing is very important. It needs to be perfect. The more accurate your drawing will be, the more chances that you will have success in your painting. Some experienced painter can paint really beautifully without having any drawing. But in general, you have to have a really good drawing skill if you want to success in watercolor painting. And then the usual processes. I'll do the sky first, just have some clear water there and some ultramarine blue. The reason I put dabbed some clear water so that it just have some effect when the pigment mixes with the water. I'll add some yellow ochre here and there. I'm trying to planning the texture in the foreground. Just having some splatter or figuring out how the final image uh, might be. When the initial layer dried up, I concentrate on basically the second values, my images in my painting. The background uh, with just the ultramarine blue and uh, I will just mark the edges a bit softer.
and there are some trees uh, not quite in the background just nearly in the middle ground so I'll just paint them with um, darker value I said darker value not any specific color so any sort of darker value you can put depending on the time of the day Just adding a bit of um, warm reddish color as uh, the time was in autumn. And make uh, this middle ground is more darker because uh, I want put them on a little bit in front and the reason I'm putting them on darker just because my subjects are in this area so I need to have high contrast in this area and this small little shade is my uh, focal point having some dry brush stroke for the texture earth texture i'm using a bit of burnt sienna uh, with mix of neutral tint color you can use burnt amber or some dark earth color As you can remember in the photograph, the tree was in the middle and that wasn't good for a composition, so I moved them inside.
Lastly, you need to make sure you have nice background and foreground painted. Just making the texture on the foreground. The background and foreground uh, in most cases is not that important, but they need to be painted uh, with equal amount of concentration, otherwise your painting will not work out. If your foreground is not good, it won't pull up the painting in the end. Same goes with the background. If your background is not good enough, then your painting will go off. There is a small little tractor or truck over there or maybe it wasn't because in my even my photograph it isn't clear it's far so I just imagine probably there is a car or a truck or something vehicle over there so just just painted a small little truck over there or a car and some other just object just a suggestion could be anything I'm gonna put some people in there I'm just doing some different colors like red mark here and there, so it just suggests something is there. Let's draw two people. This brush has got a really nice fine pointer, so even the their synthetic hair brush, it's very good quality. I can tell so far. I can draw some really tiny little stuff with that as well. I don't need some rigor brush or something like that. The brush I'm using is from Golden Maple. Uh, link is in the description if anyone wants to buy that use my discount code you'll get 10% discount from their website this is not any paid ad uh, so I don't get anything so you can just simply go to their website and use the discount code and you can just get 10% off
I'm working on this foreground again and again because every time I'm feeling like there's something off in the foreground so the value were a little bit lighter previously so I made this value darker and just added a shadow and added some now adding some visual interest like white smokes or something like that Just small little tiny highlights on people on the head and shoulder and some other small little highlights. And that's it, um, end of this painting, when I take the tape off, the white edges uh, makes this painting pop up more, you can have a good look on that one. And that's how you can design a good composition and uh, finish up, ending up with a good painting. I'm happy about this one. So follow these steps, if you have any questions, if you have. Uh, let me know in the comment box. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, please consider subscribing and uh, uh, give it a like and thumbs up. Uh, thank you very much. I will see you in the next video. Bye.